Once there was a DJ called Terry. And another called Mariella. There was also Dermot. And Jonathan. They were a bit, oh, uh, different, really. But when they came together at Radio 2, do you know what? It worked. The end. News 24 takes over on BBC One in a few minutes. Before that, a check on the weather. Hello there. Well, Sunday was a day of sunshine and showers, and the coming week looks equally as mixed. It'll be pretty unsettled. There'll be some rain around, especially in the north. But as we go towards the middle of the week, signs of things are beginning to warm up. But that's still some way off. At the moment, it is unsettled. We have lumps of cloud across the UK. They've been producing the heavy showers on Sunday. The showers starting to die away now as we go through the night. Most places will become dry. Still, the odd shower dotted around, particularly across parts of northern England, North Wales, Southwest Scotland, and later on, some more prolonged wet weather arriving in Northern Ireland. Quite a cool night. Temperatures down to around about seven or eight degrees typically. So tomorrow starts with a fair amount of cloud for parts of North Wales, the thickest of the cloud though across the Irish Sea into Northern Ireland, a thoroughly wet and windy start to the day here. A lot of cloud for Scotland too, some showery outbreaks of rain around. Across the border into northeastern parts of England, some early brightness perhaps, but make the most of it, it might not last. However, further south and east for East Anglia, the Midlands, southern counties of England, some more reliable sunshine here, a bright start to the day. And that sunshine I think could well last for much of Monday. Further north, though, there always will be rather more cloud around. We'll have those outbreaks of rain pushing in across the Irish Sea into northwestern counties of England, around the Lake District, the Scottish border, southwest Scotland, too. Uh, to the north of that, some bright spells, but some heavy showers, as you can see, the best of the sunshine. Further south, so much of the Midlands enjoying some brightness through the afternoon, some decent temperatures, too. But further north, as I say, northernmost counties of England, southern half of Scotland, cloudy, cool, breezy, some showery outbreaks of rain, some of those quite heavy. Northern Ireland, as well, not terribly pleasant. Uh, can't really out the odd shower for parts of Wales, South West England, but they'll be much less frequent, much less widespread than they were over the weekend. For East Anglia and the South East, well, we can virtually rule out showers here. There'll be a fair amount of cloud building up, but some sunshine in between and some respectable temperatures. Now, through the evening, we're going to see thickening cloud and more wet weather spilling into Northern Ireland, Wales. Much of England and Wales, in fact, will end up wet and uh, pretty unpleasant to end the night. Will be mild though, temperatures remaining in double figures, which leads us into Tuesday and the Chelsea Flower Show. The first day open to the public, and it looks like being a cloudy one with some drizzly outbreaks of rain, but hopefully some dry spells. Temperatures not too bad. By Wednesday, the uh, thickest of the cloud and the rain pushing northwards across Northern Ireland, northern parts of England and Wales into southwest Scotland, brightening up to the south. Some warm spells of sunshine here. Now, as we move southwards and eastwards, of course, there's a big match taking place on Wednesday night. It's the Champions League final. There's going to be a fair amount of cloud around and some outbreaks of rain so I can't rule out a shower as Milan take on Liverpool in Istanbul but uh, hopefully it will be dry quite humid temperatures around 17 Celsius here back home on Thursday then I think most of the rain will have cleared away northwards a lot of dry weather on Thursday and very warm in the south 20 21 degrees possible make the most of the dry weather though because more rain will be arriving from the west to end the week for more information check out the website bbc.co.uk slash weather this is my 15-year-old sister, Becky. She's been diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is bone cancer. I'm not scared of dying. I'm scared of leaving people behind. I'm scared of leaving Clark behind. One Life, Tuesday at 10.35 on BBC One. A foster carer can make a real difference to a child's life. We always need more people willing to care. If you want to help, find out more. Man with a knife. Assault in progress. What are you doing here, Cole? Trying to help. You're not on duty. Because at this moment there is no night shift. No day shift, only one shift. To find the woman who's been abducted shift. 55 degrees north. Who's he? Next Sunday at 8 on BBC One. That's it for Sunday night on BBC One. Thanks for your company. Now, it's over to BBC News 24.
Now wet and weather, wet and windy weather in the northwest begins to pull its way up towards western Scotland. Some heavy downpours of rain are expected here. That wet weather then spills its way in across southern central parts of Scotland, heading its way northwards, and the showers perhaps easing off a touch later in the afternoon across Northern Ireland. For England and Wales, some brighter skies, allowing temperatures up to around 16 or 17 Celsius, but still the chance of one or two showers. Then for Tuesday, we've got another area of wet weather sweeping in across western areas. It begins to pull its way eastwards as we go through the morning. Some really quite heavy downpours for a time, a really spell of wet weather to contend with for Tuesday morning. That begins to pull away eastwards by the end of Tuesday, but then the next area of wet weather is arriving by the middle part of the week. Now in the south it should be dry and brighter and warm, 22 Celsius, but we could see some more heavy and persistent rain coming into Northern Ireland, Northern England and pulling its way up to Scotland and here it will feel much cooler. So you can see all these bands of rain arriving through the week. So we get to Thursday, it looks like there will be some patchy rain coming in, perhaps some drier weather across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. You see the brighter skies there, but it looks like further south it should just warm up a touch, perhaps just into the 20s Celsius.